Today we're taking a look at the Fit Polo W13 Android based smartwatch. This is a budget option for any of you out there who can't afford or simply just can't justify the premium price of the Samsung Galaxy watches or the Apple Series watch, whatever. Fit Polo is offering the W13 smartwatch at what I think is an ultra competitive price. Price range depending on the sales when you buy it. The price to value here is awesome, but how about the features? The speed, the quality, the UI usability, battery life, all the good stuff and all the bad stuff. Well, the W13 seems to be a relatively feature-rich smartwatch in my opinion, especially at the cost. The W13 is packing a standard real-time heart rate monitoring and logging feature, blood oxygen or SpO2 logging, cycle monitoring, and of course, sleep analysis for light and deep sleep cycles. There is a stress level assessment tool similar to many of the other smartwatches on the market. As for the main features of a smartwatch, pretty much everything is here. The Galaxy watches and the Apple watches might have a few more bells and whistles and a couple of more integrations, but this smartwatch really focuses on the core essentials. The watch is IP68 rated, which will definitely come in handy for intense workouts or if you're running and you get caught in the rain. As you might have guessed, this smartwatch is offered strictly in the Bluetooth variant. There's over 100 pre-programmed fitness tracking modes. I didn't actually get to use most of them, but the basic ones like walking and running, those modes seem to work well. I wanted to test this out against my Galaxy Watch 5, so I strapped both on and I went for roughly a 1.27 mile walk. They had nearly the same distance recorded at about 1.27 or 1.28 miles, with the Galaxy Watch 5 recording just a little bit less. In terms of the calories, they were a bit different though. 182 on the Galaxy Watch 5, and somehow the W13 reported 250. I think that might have been a little high. At the end of the walk, the Galaxy Watch 5 had recorded my ending heartbeat at roughly 82 beats per minute. The W13 clocked in around 73-74 beats per minute. As for the blood oxygen test, at the end, they were very similar. 92% on the Galaxy Watch 5 and 95% on the W13. If you account for the variability in the band tightness, as well as my body and the route that I took, I think that these smartwatches came up with similar results, which is very interesting to see. The watch also has a smart life assistant function for activity tracking, which is good for monitoring things like the pedometer, calorie estimates, distance traveled, heart rate, all that good stuff. The smartwatch, of course, utilizes an app. The app is called Very Fit. The watch will sync the data to this and make it relatively easy for you to look at, review, analyze, puts it all on a nice dashboard. The W13 smartwatch does feature Alexa functionality built into it. I kind of think the Alexa stuff is gimmicky, but if you do use it, this could be nice. As for the screen size, it's pretty good in my opinion. Coming in at 1.8 inches, it was a nice size display, and the brightness was pretty decent too. Moving on to the product build quality, it was surprisingly good, especially in terms of the price range that it's competing in. The included bands were a nice softer plastic or rubber material. It felt fine on my wrist, very similar to the Galaxy Watch 5. The clasping mechanism worked well, was very standard, and the W13 has one main button for initiating or accepting prompts in the OS. General usage will combine the button with swiping either left or right in order to move between menus. I think the biggest letdown on the smartwatch was honestly really just the charging. The W13 smartwatch did not utilize Qi charging. You have to use the included charger, which I'm not really sure what standard this is. That did work pretty well, but it's not Qi charging. I would prefer to see a Qi charging option in the future. The cable that was included for charging was USB-A and you can see some smaller form factor magnetic connection. In terms of performance, the W13 was okay. Scrolling through the menus did have some noticeable lag, but it wasn't really a deal breaker for me. I actually tried to use this watch for quite a few days in a row, and after a little while of navigating through the menus, though there is a little bit of a lag, you kind of get used to it, and it reduces your overall amount of misclicks. Objectively, it's obviously slower than my Galaxy Watch 5, but again, this watch is nowhere 
near the amount of cost that the Galaxy Watch 5 is. The W13 is really coming in at an ultra low cost, so I kind of understand that the CPU might be a little bit slower or lower end. One section in particular where the W13 really blows the Galaxy Watch 5 out of the water is the battery life. I kind of think this is like an inverse relationship between the processing power of the watch and the battery life. The battery life on the W13 regularly lasted, I would say, almost double what my Galaxy Watch 5 did, but I'm guessing that's because the CPU is a little bit slower, using a little bit less power, and potentially some of the extra features and bells and whistles that aren't offered saved a little bit of power, which you'd probably have to get an upper trim Galaxy Watch 5 in order to do that, and even then, it might not last three days. So to sum up my experience with the W13 from Fit Polo, I liked it. I used it for a couple of days, a couple of work from home days, walked around a bit, went on some longer walks, even went to a wedding wearing this watch. I think the value of the Fit Polo W13 is super high. This is an ultra budget Android smartwatch that if you're only looking for core functionality of, it definitely works. And you're not gonna pay a ton for it. While the speed is lagging a little bit in the menus, and maybe this watch doesn't have all of the features, the stability was pretty good, and the application was pretty decent on the smartwatch. I didn't really have any issues, and I thought it was laid out pretty nicely. As for the software support, the W13 smartwatch itself might receive future updates, but that process is kind of driven by end-user feedback to Fit Polo, according to my contact. So I don't know if we can really expect a ton of updates for the smartwatch, but it is possible they might improve on it in the future. The very fit app is generally expected to be updated monthly from what I was told. Combining all of this with the ultra competitive pricing, if you don't want to drop a ton of extra cash on the Galaxy Watch 5 or the Apple Watch Series 9 million, this budget smartwatch should get the job done for an average person and I definitely think it's worth taking a look at, especially if you're on a budget. I'll have links in the description below, so definitely check those out. If you're into smartphone and mobile tech videos, get subscribed to the channel, and don't forget to smash the like button before heading out.